Hey guys, the Liftmaster Dorka here. We are here with a little old one for you today. Uh, as you can tell by the release, we are looking at an old Genie Model 200. Uh, as far as I know, this is the only unit that uses that type of release. Uh, I've never seen another one. I'm not saying they're not out there. I've just never seen them. Uh, so we have the full chain drive on this with the three-piece T-rail. Um, very nice unit. Matt showed the same unit. Uh, I really do like this unit. This I opened this up, cleaned it out. This here is actually a direct drive. Uh, the sprocket on the top is right off the motor. It must be a special slow speed motor so that it doesn't, uh, you know, because you just took a regular motor and put it on this chain, it'd move, you know, it'd be a freaking accelerator times three. I mean, it'd be a freaking fast opener. So this one must have a special slowed down motor in it, but that's great. I mean, there's no gears to fail. If that traveler was metal, <laughs> you know, the only thing left to go wrong with this unit would be electrical. Uh, this one has a board. There is, uh, and this is not magnetic relays, this is a board unit. Um, very, very nice unit. Very, very nice unit indeed. I saw one other unit like this. We didn't get it. I think the guy must have put his own opener in. Um, and we never, never went back and replaced it. What was wrong with it though was the traveler uh, on it. Those two little tabs there on the side where the pin goes up through, uh, they were just cracked right off. I mean, there's you know no way for the traveler to grab onto the chain. They were just broken right off. So, you know, I said you know you're gonna have to replace it because we can't get parts for those. Probably could have rigged something, but. Uh, you know, it just isn't worth messing with. And so I think he might have went out and did his own opener. He said we'd, he'd give us a call, but that was a couple months ago. I haven't heard anything. So, oh well. We do have a working GS200. This appear, appears to be a uh, unit that was pulled just because. Uh, when I went and looked at the job this unit came from, uh, I did not ever run the door. And I, you know, so I didn't know if it was working or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run this day with classic button. Don't have the genius button on there. Um, here we go. A little bit slower too. Very nice unit though. I mean this thing is like bulletproof. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run this down. On this model, uh, as soon as the motor stops, the light goes off. Uh, when the door is up, the light always stays on. This one here was made by the Alliance Manufacturing Company. Uh, and then also for radios, of course, this is before build-in radios. Uh, this has the three terminals on the side to hook the Genie radio to. Or uh, actually, you might maybe could hook any three terminal radio to that. I'm not sure. I would think. I don't think Genie's any different than anybody else. Uh, of course, they might be. It is Genie. So there we have that, the Model 200. Uh, nice, nice, nice unit. I do like this one. Of course, <laughs> as I said before, what one don't I like, you know? I think I say that about pretty much every unit I put up here. Um, there are a couple, though, I don't really care for. But, you know, some of the old, uh, not old, but some of the newer overheads, I, I don't like them. Um, but there are, there still is a few I need to reshoot in here. And those are coming up. I do still have... Uh, the linear LS050 I need to do. I've got the, I see, I think I did the track 7 in here uh, on the Relante. I do, though, have the, uh, oh, let's see here. I know i got a pile of them laying out there. I've got a LiftMaster I need to fix. Uh, one third horsepower, I think it's a 1255. Um, that one needs a board, so I've got to find a board for that. And, oh, crap, i got a whole bunch of them out there. I don't know what I've got. Pretty much any of the old ones you haven't seen on the Relante, they're what I need to shoot. I know that linear is definitely one that sticks out. I do need to get that one done. Um, seems like I've got a Craftsman out there. i got a couple of them I'll look and let you guys know in the next video. So there we are. Genie GS200. Check back. Subscribe to the channel.